Three. And said unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Okay, the Most High going to tap all his stuff. All right? And you're going to see this. This is, is going to be the first time you're going to hear it, and you're going to hear it again. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual hate. An everlasting hatred for who? And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. All right, so now let's go back and think about what we read a while ago. All right? What did, what did uh, uh, Isaac say? That he would rule by what? With, with his sword, right? Okay, if he's going to rule with a sword, here's the evidence of what he did. And the reason why he, the Most High knew that he had a perpetual hate, it was the same hatred that uh, Cain had for Abel. The same hatred. Because one got the blessing and the other one chose the other direction. It ain't my fault because you didn't get blessed. That was your choice. Yeah, it was all yours from the beginning. Just like with Ananias and Sapphira. Remember? It was their land to do it what they wanted to do with it from the beginning. But they told this lie trying to show off in front of people. And made a statement, made a promise, made a vow that they was going to give this amount. And what did Peter say? You ain't lying to me. <laughs> you ain't lying to me. You lied to the Holy Ghost. Your words. Your word is your bond. Your word is who you are. Your word is everything. All right? Read on deep. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord said God. Said who? Said the Lord God. Uh -huh. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sit it, thou hast not hatred blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. All right? So, I don't care where he go. Is it not a bloody mess everywhere he go? He came here, and, and, and I'm quite sure a whole lot of our people, a whole lot of uh, Indians probably did too, so-called Native Americans, hauled off and celebrated this wicked holiday called Thanksgiving, where over 99 million Native Americans, our brothers, were slaughtered. Blood everywhere. This country is built on blood, on backs of slaves, getting constantly whipped. Who else got whipped like that? Christ. Who else? Who else? Uh, 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 got got the beard pulled out the face. Christ. You see, who else was hung from a tree? Christ. Everything that happened, and that's the reason why in the book of uh, Ezra, second Ezra, that's reason why he said we are his only begotten. Because we went through the same thing that his only begotten went through. That makes sense? All right? All right, so Esau was a, was a treacherous son of a gun. All right, uh, let's go to, um, let's go to, uh, matter of fact, let's go to Obadiah now. All right, now we're going to look at some things here in the Obadiah so we can get an understanding. The Bible tells us, and all you're getting, get an understanding. All right, we're going to start at verse number one, Ob Obadiah, it ain't number one chapter. Okay, so so <laughs> it, it's it. One is the chapter. Let's start at verse one. The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. All right, now, 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 now. All this was was a prophecy given to Obadiah about who? Esau, right? The same thing that Ezekiel had, a vision 
given from the Most High because he said prophesy, prophesy against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is where, where Edom's dwelling place was, where he saw dwelling place. Okay? Now go on in uh, verse number uh, two. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, though thou art greatly despised. Uh huh. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. In the cliffs of the rock. Mount Seir was the cliffs of the rocks. Okay? Esau lived way up in the mountains. Okay? Way up in the mountains. Same way when they was when they was rushed, when they was pushed out of uh, uh out of uh this area here, and then they and they migrated over into uh, uh Europe, over into Russia, into the Caucasus Mountains, by the uh I think it's the uh uh the uh Caspian Sea or something like that over there over that area where um uh, they even lived in the rocks there, but they lived at their worst. Is that where the true caveman came out right there? The Caucasus Mountain, that's where the word Caucasian come from. All right, read on. The pride of thine heart had, dwelt, had deceived thee. Uh -huh. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose Ooh. habitation is high, that said it in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? All right, now, now, now watch this. Now watch this. You 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 ever notice that the higher you up, the 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 more clouds is around you, and clouds ain't nothing but what, dude. That's all it is. Remember that's how the ground that's how the ground used to uh, stay wet. It's back from the clouds and stuff. Even though it never rained, you know what I'm saying? Back back in the days, but that's how that's how the moisture got got uh, where it needed to get. Now, what did it say? Over in the book of uh, uh in, in in the book of uh, uh was it Ezekiel? Said his it said it said he will rule above the heavens. No, that was in, in, in Genesis, right? Yeah, it was in Genesis. It said the fat is of the earth, and, and thou shalt dwell uh in the dew in the high places in your heavens or whatever. Well, that's what he's talking about. High places. He up high, okay? Read on. Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle. Like a what? As the eagle. Okay, do not the United States of America, do not Britain, do not all these European countries represent themselves as an eagle? That is their symbol, the eagle. Okay? All of them, Germany, all of them has an eagle that, re that represent who they are. Okay? So we know today that Esau is not dead. Esau is yet living and kicking, even though they're dying off. <laughs> All praise to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? But here you see where the Most High is said. It says that they will exalt themselves like an eagle. Okay, where do a he? Where is the eagle's habitation at? And the side of a cliffs of mountains, way up high, where can't no other vultures get a hold to it, or no, uh, no uh, uh, lions and tigers and all that get a hold to them. Read on, D. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou, though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. Okay, when they went to the moon, when they when they so-called themselves going to the moon or going out of space, they, they that's what they trying to build even to this day. Okay, they trying to build a place where they can stay out there amongst the stars. It won't happen. Read. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Who, who would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Then that one grape, would you leave one, just some? Fuzzy, no, they steal everything. They want it all. Everywhere they go, when they go to take, they take it all. That's the reason why, uh, 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 I don't know if you you familiar with this saying, 
man, man, ain't no anywhere. I'd rather for a white man to come and 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 and, and break in my home than a than a black man. Cause a, a white guy gonna come up there, pull his U-Haul up there, and take everything. At least you can buy your insurance on it. Nigga, come take your TV. <laughs> VCR, you know what I'm saying? And then and, and, and you can't even work it. You just go buy another one. You know what I'm saying? But you still lost over money. This is the way he saw is. He takes it all. He ain't leaving no grapes for nobody. And if you got caught while he, while he had you harvesting the grapes more, you were getting beat. Or get your lips sewed together where you can't eat. You know what I'm saying? Read on. How are the things of Esau searched out? Mm. How are his hidden things sought out? Uh huh. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Ah. Uh huh. Did you see that? They was at peace with you. Remember the pilgrims came and how they, how they in Columbus, them all them evil Edomites came here and and they 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 made you know the Indians helped them to get through the winter, winter and all that there and showed them how to live and survive through the winter and what they do. Left, came back, and raised pure hell in this place. Okay. So, 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 so the ones that, the ones that you thought was, was with peace with you, they deceived thee. And what happened? And prevailed against thee. Uh-huh. That they eat thy bread had laid a wound under thee. Uh -huh. There is none understanding in him. What, what, what the Bible say? There is none. There is none. You cannot reason with an Edomite. No, my best friend is black. I love you, man. Come on now. I, I really do. I really, I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you do, you ain't you the owner of this company? Well, won't you give it back? You know it don't belong to you. Won't you talk to your other rich friends and start convincing them to give everything back that they need to give back? But you think they're going to do that? They have no understanding. Read. Shall I not in that day, said the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom mm -hmm. and understanding out of the Mount, Mount of Esau? That's what he's doing. Even to this day, the Most High is destroying their wise men. The ones who got this plot going. The bushes, the, 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 the uh, 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 what was his name? Big old fat. Sucker that started the Illuminati and all this here stuff, uh, Masons and all this here, all of them is dying off. Read on. And thy mighty men, O Taman, mm -hmm. shall be dismayed to the end that every one of Mount of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. All right, now read verse number ten. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob shall shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Who's Jacob, Deacon? Our brother. Huh? Jacob is our father, our forefather. But watch this here. Jacob is also, remember his name was changed to Esau? I mean to, uh, uh, to Israel. All right? So this is why the most high is gonna get get this boy here. Okay? This is why he's gonna get Esau is because what Esau have done. Alright? Read. And the day that thou stoodest on the other side, uh -huh. the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou waste. As one of them. Uh huh. See, Edom was part of the mess. You know what I'm saying? He was part of the mess. All right, read on. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger, 
neither should as thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, neither should as thou have spoken proudly in the days of distress. Uh -huh. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance. Uh-oh. Now the most are telling it all. Read on. Nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Uh-huh. Read neither, 14. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither should thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. But remember Esau did these things because he had a perpetual hate for Jacob. Mean a hate forever. Perpetual means forever. And it's the same hate that the Most High have for him. Now you see the reason why the most I hate this guy so bad, so much? He hated him before he was even born because he knew what Esau was like. And that's the reason why you hear me make that statement a lot. He used Esau to be the switch, that stitching card, that hot wheel track. You, you feel what I'm saying? You're getting the point, that belt, that paddle. Whatever mama and daddy used to use to keep us in line, that's what the most I did. With Esau made him that equipment that he needed to whoop our butts. Because we just wouldn't listen. We wouldn't stop. We ran over mama. We ran over mama for Jerusalem. It's the mother of us all. Ain't that what the Bible say? Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So, so if Jerusalem is our mother, we ran over mama. We stopped doing the things that we were supposed to do in that land. But daddy, you know the one that reached down into mama and grabbed some of her dirt and created us? Yeah, he got tired and so he said enough is enough. I'm finna whoop me some butt. And that's what he did. Alright, that's three. Let's go to... Uh, 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen as thou yeah, hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. God loves everybody. Don't that sound like love to you? It don't sound like love. When he starts talking about doing the same thing to you as he done to as you done to him and his people? Oh, you got it coming your way, baby boy. All right. Now, I love this scripture here because it, it tells us a lot, okay? It tells us a lot about how much Esau hated us, how much his children hated us, okay? Because we're like, cousins from, from miles and miles and miles and miles and years and years and years away. Okay? But let's look and see what the most I said. Now, you remember the word confederacy, right? You remember that word, right? All right. Now, let's go and look at Psalms 83. And you know what I want, D. Huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. All right, now listen to what, what, what the writer's saying. Hold not that peace. Don't be silent about these. So was the most high silent when he said it in Ezekiel and in Obadiah? Huh? He wasn't silent about it. He gonna, he gonna get them. Our problem is that we don't have patience. Read on. For lo, thine enemies made a tumult. Uh huh. They, they they came together and 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 and, and formed a, the UN. Not the is it the UN? 
Is that what it's called with all the flags and nations there? Mm -hmm. United Nations, yeah, yeah, that's it, read on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Uh-oh, see, they even hate the most high. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Mm, mm, mm. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. From being a what? A nation. We are not Americans. Okay? We're not African Americans. We're not black because we can't fly to the, the, the land of black. We're not niggas because we can't fly to the land of niggas. Okay? Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Uh-huh. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Uh-huh. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab, Moab and the Hagarini, uh -huh. Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Uh huh. Ashura also is joined with them. They have hoping the children of Lot. They have hoping the children of Lot say Lot. Look, Lot's children ain't no good either. That's the old, 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 old funny looking uh, 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 Asian uh, 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 babies. Uh, 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 Cambodians and all them there, they ain't no good either. They hate us with a passion. You know what I'm saying? Just like all the rest of these, these people do. But ain't, ain't it funny that the main two, see this one they never talk about. Okay? That's the Ishmaelites. Okay? Okay? You see that? You see that? It was who first? Edom and then the Ishmaelites, right? Alright. So, so Edom tries to say, no, 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 the Edomites is, is the Ishmaelites, the Muslims, and, the, and, the, and, and Saudi Arabia. That's who the, no, 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 no. They ain't running nothing. Okay? All right? They ain't running nothing. And prove to you, I know what I'm talking about. Let's go to Job right fast. Job. Let me see. Oh, da, da, da. Nine and 24. Job 9 and The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Then a little sarcasm. If it's not Esau, then who is it then? Okay? Because they run the whole earth and always have. Am I right? So if the earth has been given over to them, that show can't be the Ishmaelites, right? But the Ishmaelites had hands in our captivity. Okay? Before Edom had us, it was the, the Ishmaelites and the uh, Hamites is who actually sold us to the Edomites. Okay? To the Greases, took us far away from our borders. Okay? Um, so let's go to um, I think it's Hosea. I think it's Hosea. Let me see. All right, uh, Hosea uh, 8 and 1. 
said the trumpet to thy mouth, he shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord, because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. It don't get no plainer, D. Why did he send Edom? Because we did what? Trust, tra transgressed against my covenant. Against his law. Okay? And so he told him, he said, he shall come slow like a turtle, like an, like an eagle. Their symbol again. That's how you identify who this beast is. See? Read on. Israel shall cry unto me, my God, we know thee. Uh -huh. Israel has cast off the thing that is good. The enemy shall pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princesses, and I knew it not. Of their silver and their gold have they made them idols, that they may be cut off. This is talking about this with Israel. This is what they've done. So your punishment by that, he said, wait a minute. I ain't tell nobody to go and buy that. I ain't tell nobody to go and bring this to my home. Right? So this is what I'm going to punish you. But it don't get no clearer why the things that happen to us as a people happen. We have the most powerful source that loves us on the whole everything. It's the most high Yah. He loves us above everything. Anybody. If you keep my directions, you would be the head and not the tail. You would be above and not beneath. But we at the bottom of and lowest of society that you can find. I'm not talking about one or two people. I'm talking about as a nation of people, we're at the bottom. I don't care what state you go to, what city you go to, what town you go to. Find out where the blacks is. It's across the railroad tracks in a low slum area. Right? I mean, it's just the way it T.I. is because of our disobedience. All right? Go over to uh, uh, chapter nine and, and 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 look at verse six, D. For lo, they are gone because of destruction. Egypt shall gather them up. Memphis shall who, sh who shall gather them up? Egypt. Okay. Shall gather them up. Uh huh. Memphis shall bury bury them. The pleasant places of their silver needles shall possess the possess them thorns shall be in their tabernacles all right is that it mm -hmm. now I want you I want you to I want you to know some anybody that do the American history and do history against Egypt you'll find out that the Nile River and the Mississippi River runs the same way from the top of the country all the way to the bottom of the country is that not how the Mississippi runs? From the top to the bottom, right? Is there not a Memphis that it runs through? It's a Memphis that it runs through in Egypt over there. And I keep telling y'all look this stuff up. You go to you go to uh the Mississippi River and see all the archives and all the different things that they have that represents Egypt. They have the Sphinx. They have a pyramid. Uh, I think it's a casino or something like that with big Sphinx sitting out in front of it. They got mummies out there, you know, mummy uh, tombs and stuff like that. All this stuff is sitting right down the Mississippi River because this is the land that the Most I was talking about. He was sent us to, to be in slavery all over again. Okay. This place, and you see where that talked about Memphis Deluxe, right? All right, it's the same thing, the Nile River, Memphis, and all that stuff 
is, is it, it runs straight through it just like it do here in America. All right? Now, let's go here. Let's go to uh, 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 verse, I mean, uh, book number Romans, 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 Romans. Hold on. No, no, not Romans yet. Not Romans yet. Let's go to Hebrews uh, chapter 6. I mean, not chapter 6, Hebrews chapter uh, 12, Deacon. And we're going to start at, let's start at verse number 13. Hebrews 12 and 13. And make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way. Uh -huh. Let it rather be healed. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking dil diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root root of bitterness spring up trouble, up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Uh huh. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Now listen, if the Most High was talking about every man make peace with, okay, why wouldn't Esau be excluded from this area up here in 13? Why is he down here in a it magnifies his name by itself. Okay? No profane person such as Esau, right? Who gave up his birthrights for one morsel of meat, sold it. All right, read on. 17. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance though he saw it carefully with tears. Now, didn't we, it said that he wept earlier, asking his daddy for, for a blessing? Mm -hmm. Huh? And see, here it is right here in the West. I mean, I'm take, there, there's no way we can take these books and separate them and say the Old Testament, New Testament. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All we can do is say the book. Because here it is, Paul is in Hebrews talking about something that took place where? In Genesis. So where, where is they getting that this is done away with, that's done away with? How can they, when everything, all these writers is talking about the old, the, old, the past. Now, now, if you can't repent, there's no salvation for you. So why is people running around here trying to save the, the so-called quote-unquote white man? You can't save him. He's history. If you cannot repent, you cannot save. Let's look at uh, another scripture and then we're going to close on um, Revelations uh, 13. And let's start at verse number seven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that where I want? Yeah, uh, that's that. That's go on, go on and finish reading, deep. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life 
of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So what he's saying here is there that two thirds of his people is going to worship Esau. Okay. Cause that's what he did. He made war with the saints. Who is the saints? The saints is the most highest people. Okay. Mm -hmm. he even said they were going to wear them out. They're going to wear the saints out. Okay. Now, 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 if you if you look real closely, he said though those that that the names wasn't written in the Lamb Book of Life is gonna be the ones who are gonna worship him, right? Mm -hmm. Now, now let's look at how many porch niggas or house niggas or or, 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 or these so-called niggas that won't make it in. Okay? Because that's exactly what they are, if not lower. Okay? Let's find out. Verse number nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Let him hear, right? So if any man have understanding, let him understand this. What? He that led into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience of the faith of the saints. All right. So, 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 so no, the most high is going to save everybody. What did he just, what did he say? If you, if you led somebody into captivity, huh? You're going to go into captivity. That's just the way T.I. is. It, 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 it don't, it don't change. If you led somebody into captivity, you're going to go into captivity. He that kill it with a sword must be killed with a sword. So how would Esau rule the earth? With a sword. <laughs> and blood everywhere. Blood gonna follow this, 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 this thing. And that's the type of people they are. You remember what the Apocrypha said? Matter of fact, let's go there so we can get this out the way right fast. Uh, uh, second, uh, uh, chapter six, uh, in second Ezra chapter six, starting with verse number seven. So we can get an understanding of what's going to happen, how it's going to happen and, and what's going to be the joy of, of then, part. Then answered I and said, what shall be the part?